Can you show us a little bit about what a cancer-fighting cold plasma device might look like? And I know other researchers are working on cold plasma with cancer, so I'd like to know the unique part about your project. Um, what we develop is uh, um, cold plasmas in, in, in atmospheric air. And we also use some of the noble um, gases. Um, and uh, the, the equipment itself that we use, uh, we, had, we had developed uh, um, a, a number of different coal plasma technologies, uh, but principally based on the coal plasma principle. Um, some may look like plasma needles, some may look like plasma shower. Um, we have one uh, here that we modified, I could show. Um, it's a probe. Um, it's a probe and uh, it has, uh, as you could see, it has a number of uh, um, uh, openings from which an array of cold plasma would, uh, would, would, uh, would propagate out to the surface and we usually have it upside down and when we have the cancer plasmas exposed to it underneath uh, with our uh, cancer cell lines, uh, uh, we, we treat them for um, anywhere between anywhere between a few seconds uh, to a couple of minutes uh, for, to, for calibrating a number of array of uh, plasma dosages. And our unique part of our research, uh, one second. The unique part of our research is um, we develop uh, coal plasmas with atmospheric air so it doesn't require an additional supply of gases um, as, a, as an operating supply. And also we try to make it as portable as possible uh, for, um, for, for other um, uh, military-related applications.